is uh, the exhaust manifold off a car, off an old car, and uh, what we've got is we've got a warpage across the exhaust flange, um, mountain flange, and you just can't get these anymore. So the guy is having problems with it, keeps blowing head gasket, uh, not head gasket, sorry, uh, exhaust gaskets, um, particularly out the ends here because we've got a hump in the middle. He's tried different gaskets, he's tried a thicker gasket, but it just doesn't, you know, doesn't make any difference. There's a lot of pressure there. Um, these heat up and it, you know, cool down a hell of a lot, and that's why it's warped. So what we're going to do, we're going to get this mounted up in the Miller machine, and we're going to try and skim this and uh, see how we get on. The hardest thing is, uh, as you can imagine, just trying to hold it in there square to the um, cutter to get a, you know, get a good finish on there. But anyway, I've done a few of these in the past, and uh, the biggest time is just setting them up. Um, don't really want to go down the road of making a jig up because that's just not cost effective. So we'll have a look at mounting it on some um, pieces of steel and you know one, two, three blocks and see how we get on. And hopefully we can get this mounted, you know, and uh, machine this face for him. Because there's quite a bit of a hump in here, uh, I mean there's probably about a mil and a half at least of warpage in this. So we've got quite a bit, bit of material to take off in the middle here. So we're going to use a face mill for that, uh, just to get it down to, you know, sort of just get the worst of it off. And then we'll see how we get on with that. And then we will just fly cut and do a skim pass just to finish it off and leave a good finish. So we're going to be effectively trying to mount this something like this and uh, we're going to have to block all this up. Uh, we'll probably end up clamping it here which is you know, probably the strongest part because we don't want to put loads of pressure on a weak part otherwise that's going to change this here. You know, if, we, if we clamped it here it's going to obviously pull the middle down. So we want to be clamping down here with you know, quite a thick and quite a strong part and not affect the bow. You know, we don't want to be messing around with the bow here. We want that to remain how it is now and then just skim that so we'll see, we'll get some blocks up and we'll get it sorted and see if we can get it mounted. Okay, we've finally got there at last. Um, in between one end and the other, there's a bit of a warp but this way as well. So um, I've tried to equal it out as best I can. But we'll just have a sweep and then we'll have a look at the other end. So pretty much flat there. And we'll shoot across to the other end. sweep across this end. So we've got a couple of thou there and then it will start to flatten off down to a thou there. So more or less the two ends are level but when we machine, we'll machine, there's a, like I say there's a bit of a warp here so we'll machine that out. So anyway we'll swap over to the face mill and then we'll set up and we'll start to machine.
So that's the rough and all finished. So what we'll do now is we'll do a finish cut with the fly cutter. Um, my face mill is only this wide, so I had to do two passes along here. So and the the uh, inserts in here aren't particularly good for cast iron either. Whereas uh, the insert in here has always been sort of quite successful on cast iron. So we'll just run a finish pass using the fly cutter and then we'll see what sort of finish we can get. Right, so we're all done, all finished. So we'll just uh, wipe down. So yeah, so I'm happy it's all come out well. So what we'll do now is we'll I'll just finish off, I'll just de-rag where the cutters, you know, now flowing over, you can see the rags on there, so I'll just deburr those. And then just give it a clean down and then, yeah, return to the uh, customer. So all finished, all deburred, and ready to go back on the car. So it came out well, I was happy with the result.